Hi there, this is James from Junior Developer Central and welcome to this first tutorial on getting up and running with Postman. In this tutorial, we'll just start off with the basics of getting Postman installed and also sending your first request and just to, so you get familiar with the actual program itself. And in some later lessons, I'll do some further tutorials on how to do some more advanced requests and some of the other features and techniques that you can use with Postman. So if you found this video, I'm guessing you've got an understanding of what Postman is in itself. Um, but just in case you haven't, it's a, a desktop tool. It used to be a Chrome extension, but now it's a, a fully fledged desktop application that you can basically use to send HTTP requests to the endpoints of your or someone else's API that you're going to be using in your application. So for this demonstration, I've just created a really basic PHP script that outputs some data. Um, so you can see here, there's a, an array of users um, and they're just basically some names with their potential roles that they might have within a company. And there's a response that's constructed, which is then sent at the end of the script in a JSON encoded format. So for example, if we were just to go to that URL in our browser now for the moment, so if we just go to get.php, this is the actual data that gets sent out. So it's what you might expect from a basic API um, and obviously things like the count of the amount of data that's been returned is there. So just to give you some sample data there, but this could be any particular endpoint that you're working with or have access to. Okay, so to get up and running with Postman, uh, you just head over to the Postman website at getpostman.com or just do a quick Google for it. And it's really simple to actually get it installed. Uh, you just need to download the app. Um, I won't take you through the installation process as it is fairly simple, um, but obviously you have to choose which operating system you want to get set up on. And it is a free tool. They do offer paid plans that offer more advanced features, but for our purposes, the free desktop app is fine for us. So once you've got Postman installed, if you just head on over to your start menu or however you launch your apps on your particular machine, and when it loads up, it does take a few moments on your first install, and there it goes. And basically you'll probably be presented with a sign up page, um, and you can kind of skip that or you can create an account um, to save your kind of requests. So this will be the page that you get to when Postman loads up. And all you really need to do at this point is just create a basic request. As you can see, there are some other more advanced features that you can do with it. And you just give that request a name. So we're just gonna say, uh, get user data in this example, because the, the script that we're referencing does have some information about our users. And then also you save your requests in kind of a collection. So it's almost like a folder of requests. Uh, so if we just create a collection and I'm just gonna say local requests because I'm just sending a request on our uh, local machine here at the moment. So we can save it in there. And you come to this page where you actually have to tell Postman where you want to send the request to. So we know it's a get request, um, but you can see here you've got all of the HTTP verbs that you could actually uh, send that to. Uh, so we'll just put in the URL address bar. So uh, it's on localhost and it's get.php which is exactly what we had here in our browser a moment ago. And then the, all you really need to do then is just hit send. And after a second or two of thinking, you'll see it comes back with the JSON data from the PHP script. Now the actual response has come back and you can see here that there's information about the response and this is the, the main body that's been returned as it was in the web browser. But it's actually come back saying that it's a, a HTML format and uh, we want it looking more like this in a sort of JSON format. Uh, if we send it again there, it should default back again to HTML. And the reason for that is the PHP script that I created um, is sending the array of data back in a, an adjacent format, but the header from the script is not actually setting the content type to application JSON. So uh, if we head back over to the script itself, and I could just bump that in there um, before we actually uh, print out the encoded data. And now if we actually send that again, you should find that you can see it's automatically picked up that the responses come in a JSON format and we've obviously got the data formatted in a nice way. And you can double check that as well in Postman uh, with the headers tab. And this is from the response uh, of the URL that you're sending data to. So you can see the size of the content that comes back and also the content type as well. 
So that's pretty much it in a nutshell. Um, it's not too complicated as you can see. You basically just install Postman and then you can start firing away uh, new get requests. And this will work with pretty much any URL that uh, will accept a get request. And you know the, the format that you get the data back in might not be the same, but you could literally just send it to a, um, a, a URL, for example. So you could send it to a, a news website or something if I could spell and then send that and you can actually get the HTML page back uh, from any URL so if you wanted to uh, examine that for any other any reason obviously you can do it in the browser but just showing you the power of what you can do with Postman uh, by just sending simple get requests and for example we could look at the, uh, the headers of that to kind of find out some more information about uh, the actual URL that we're querying. So try it out, get Postman installed, send a few GET requests. If you do have an API that you're working with, you can send those requests to them to see the data that comes back and try different routes and different parameters. And in the next lesson, we'll look at sending data via the, the POST HTTP verb and how you can actually send data to an API um, to, to do some testing. So I hope you found that video useful. Uh, if you did, just drop me a comment below and, and give the video a like. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more of those Postman tutorials and also other web development tips and tricks.